All right, it's time for today's Now on 3, and it is Medical Monday. I'm here with Dr. Kathy Slusher of Harrisonburg OBGYN. And Kathy, today uh, we're going to talk about the significance of postmenopausal uh, post bleeding. Correct. And I guess the first thing we need to do is describe what's menopause. And for a lot of people, menopause is hot flashes, night sweats, and kind of that misery that we go through. And that is true. That is menopause. But in bleeding situations, we're talking about a complete year with no bleed, seeing no bleeding. So when you've completed that year and you see bleeding, then you know it's significant postmenopausal bleeding. And you need to talk to somebody and get it checked out. Call your provider. Generally, the first thing we want to do is start with an ultrasound. That gives us a lot of internal information, what we're really looking for, that uterine lining can get too thickened or it cannot be thickened, but that's important to know, is it or isn't. There can be a polyp in there that needs to be removed. There could be a mass on the ovaries that's feeding the endometrium and giving us that clue that there's something going on that needs our attention that's deeper inside. So we start with the ultrasound. If everything's normal and that lining is very, very thin as it should be in the postmenopause, we may just talk about other things that may have happened like foods or other medications or things that could have contributed, but we're not really so worried that it's anything bad and we'll just continue to watch it for a while. If it's a little bit thickened, we might want to take a sample right then and there in the office just to be sure that it's nothing that's going to be worrisome or the worst thing you're worried about is a cancer or a precancer and you want to get that ruled out or ruled in. If it's uh, a polyp or an ovarian mass or some masses in the uterus, we may want to talk about a minor same-day surgery procedure to take care of the problem and get us back to baseline. Or if it's something extremely significant, of course, we could be talking about a hysterectomy as well. So it's a full spectrum. Therefore, the significance is if you have bleeding after you've been a year completely free of bleeding, it needs to be investigated and you need to know where to go and what to do. It may be extremely simple and no big deal, so don't get in a, you know, all in a, a tizzy about the thing. You don't need to rush to the emergency room, but do make contact quickly with your provider. Get in, get the ball rolling, get to the answer of what's going on, and then we can do the most effective treatment that is best for you and simplest. Yeah. And so it's kind of just having that awareness, um, knowing, as you said, there are some the different levels of it. Uh, and so just like you said, being sure to have those conversations with your provider. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Slusher. Uh, very good to have you in today for today's Medical Monday. And thank you so much for the time. Thank you for having me. <laughs>